Hey artists, so we are going to start right where we left off with our Ming Dynasty vases that we drew and cut out last time. Now we're going to add flowers for our vases. So I want you to start with a clean sheet of white paper. That's what we'll draw our flowers on. You'll also wanna grab a pencil and something to color with. So I'm gonna start with lining up my vase with my white sheet of paper so I can figure out where my flowers are going to be coming from so that they're out of the vase. So here I am setting my vase down on that sheet of blank paper. Now I'm picking up my pencil and I'm starting to draw the bouquet of flowers in that vase. So a bouquet is a collection of flowers. So I'm starting with drawing a stem and some leaves. You wanna make sure that you get some leaves and stems and pieces of green to be in your bouquet too. So I'm drawing flowers on each side. This flower I'm drawing here is a tulip. So I start with a U shape and then at the top of it, I make a W shape. I'm gonna do that again a U shape, and then start at one edge, go down, up, down, up. So you're putting a W on top of that U. Those are called tulips, and they're a very popular spring flower. You might have seen some outside these past couple months that come in all different colors. So I have my tulips two tulips, and then next I'm gonna draw a flower called a daisy. So I start with a circle, and then I make petals going around that circle, and I'm also giving it a stem and some leaves. When you are creating your bouquet, you can have some of your flowers overlap, like I just had those leaves overlap, so you can see that one leaf would be behind the other leaf. And here I added a second daisy. If you look on the Google Classroom, there is a YouTube link that will take you to the YouTube channel, Art for Kids Hub, that can also teach you how to draw some different flowers. So you could try some of those out too. Their videos are always so fun to watch and draw along with. So here I'm drawing my own made up kind of flower and I do that by drawing a circle and then circles around it. And notice how my circular shapes aren't per perfect circles. They're kind of lumpy and bumpy. If you go outside in nature and look at the plants and flowers around you, you might notice that they're never perfect they're always, you know, a little different. So you do not need to have your flowers look perfect. Here I'm drawing in what looks like grass. These are just gonna be some different kind of green parts of my flower bouquet. So you can do whatever kind of flowers you want. You could do all the same flowers, or maybe you love something like cactuses. Maybe you wanna make a bouquet of cactuses. That could be kind of cool. So then I went ahead and colored my bouquet. And now that my bouquet is colored, I'm gonna line it up with my vase and you can see that by putting them next to each other, it looks like those flowers are coming right out of my vase. So then I'm gonna flip it around and then I can tape or glue my flowers onto my vase. Here I'm just using tape but I also could have used glue. If you don't have tape or glue, that's okay. You can just line them up with each other and take a quick picture of it. So there is my bouquet. And I had a piece of black paper laying around, so I just put it on that piece of black paper and I think that the black paper makes those colors really pop out. So when you create your vases and bouquets, you can use whatever kind of coloring utensil 
that you want. I had originally uh, made a video of myself coloring this for you, but my phone deleted it. I was so sad. But I know that you guys are expert when it comes to color. And I believe that you can do this. So you can use crayons, colored pencils, paints, whatever you want. I cannot wait to see your spring bouquets artists have fun.